Yo, what's going on gamers? Wanted to give you a quick and easy guide on the corrupted GM Nightfall this week. Oh yeah, she's back. Time for pain. As you see, we're using Divinity with Storm Chasers, and I totally missed my shots there. But hey, you know what? We had a finisher there and get that ammo right back. We are using Aeons, that's correct. Merc has on Aeons on his Warlock. He's using a Well. He has on a Deceptor with Storm Chaser and a Void Scout. And our test dummy here, Mr. Committee, that ran with us so we can make this guide is on a hunter with aeons divinity a scout for unstops and a storm chaser as well in the beginning here as you see you just kill the turkey and knock these void ads off as you see i shoot that overload champion need to move out of here and change position because if i stand here they're going to keep shooting me and my teammates i should go to the left here clyde should go to the left here but he didn't take out the void oh there we go nice job clyde so we're going to take out those shields and I'm going to call out the champions. And if you do this correctly, since I'm using Wither Horde, I can spawn trap my adds here. And pretty much between the Scepter and the Wither Horde, you can pretty much clear out this whole entire strike. But I'm going to call out when the champions are pushing us so we can get that nice clean bake on them. Again, you don't have to stand here. I'm just showing you that you can play aggressive and skip all the adds in the beginning and kind of funnel them into the wall here. Some people actually skip these ads because they don't care about a platinum. So if you want to do that as well, it doesn't bother me none. But as you see, it's really easy to kill these guys and take them out. As long as you pull the aggro and don't shoot those champs with a scout rifle because they will fry you. As we go in, you're probably going to see, hey, how did they do the elevator part? When you get to this elevator part, you need to understand that it's all about ad control. There should be people with orbs in their hands and someone clearing ads with their nades, their weather horde. If you run a stasis warlock as well, you can throw up stasis turrets. You just need to be ready to roll and make sure that you're spawn trapping the adds. What I like to do is I put down two wither horde shots and throw a grenade. Also, as you see, I'm going to have my super for the second round of adds. And I always make sure that I'm communicating with my team where they are going. So since I have an orb in my hand, I'm just going to throw it out in that nade. The scepter is going to clear all these adds out. I can drop the ball. A lot of people don't understand. You can drop the ball and help your teammates. I see a lot of people coming here in this room and they just hold on to the ball. Drop the ball. You don't have to. Put the div on. Melt that guy. But you have to understand that it's all about ad control too. I know that there's a major to my left and I'm letting committee, committee know, hey, there's a guy to the left. We need to be careful. So we're going to take this guy out immediately. I almost die here. But again, invis for the win. And we know that we have one enemy left. We're taking our time. A lot of people panic here they just they they're all over the place i've seen people hold the orbs they run towards the ads they don't see an out i always make sure that there's nothing behind me so that i can rotate in this room so we're easily going to break this shield and get ready for the next one and again the more you do this the more faster you're going to be trust me wither horde and scepter and even a dead messenger in this is a really good option i'm a big fan of using scepter and wither horde in this but i did do a run with the dead messenger and it's pretty nuts but again it kind of takes away of your breaking shield abilities because you always have to switch nice nade by me right there threw it on the wall so when these ads spawn i'm just gonna pop my hammers i know that my teammates are safe the reason why i'm popping these hammers is because i want the ads to focus on me as you see committee got a little too close there and threw the orb but it's okay i'm standing here i want the knight to follow me I know that the knight's the only one left in the room, so he's going to push me, and I'm going to be like, hey, you know what? I'm just going to pick up a ball, make sure that behind me is clear, rotate to my teammates, and take care of it. If you do not rotate like that, you will wipe. I'm just letting you know. Like I've wiped here plenty of times teaching people this room. People stand still, and they don't rotate. You have to understand that there's nothing behind you. Even one thrall could multiply and just roast you, and you know it happens, but again, it's in the beginning of the strike. I'm skipping to certain parts of this strike to kind of help you through a faster strat. And also kind of help you on the pinpoints of the room. When I get into this ogre room, we want to kill this unstop right away. The reason why is when we're going to get teleported into the dark room, when we come back into the light room, we want to kill the ogre right away. That way, when you get cast away into this room, you easily can take care of the two champs and move on. A lot of people will die right here. It's okay. Sometimes you got to play aggressive. Sometimes we run out of ammo. Sometimes he doesn't die. Sometimes your teammates could die. Like, we're, we're right here. Merc died on accident. It wasn't his fault. It's just we weren't paying attention to what was in the room, what was shooting us. The ogre kind of staggered us. It was annoying. Anyways, once you kill that ogre, you're going to come into this room and have two unstops and the ogre here. What I like to do is either channel up on these stairs to the right and bring all the ads to you. 
you're pretty much just you're channeling the ads to your right here or they can drop down right here behind us uh as you see it's only two of us in this room so we kind of had to take our time here because we still wanted to go get the res but again with communicating and understanding how an unstopped champion works you can simply just jump over these guys if you jump in the air like that they will not take it they will not hit you and kill you but you strictly have to jump straight over them if you don't they will hit you dead on and kill you but if they're getting ready to do that shield bash you can jump straight over them some people don't like sitting up here i sometimes sit in the middle row the reason why is because how i got laned by those ads right there all the ads channel to you and if you stand in the middle in the back of the room where we just were you only have to kill the ogre and then all these ads will despawn so pretty much whatever you want to do with your teammates and kind of understand what's going to work for you as well either way it works it's just you want to take out the two champs and then move on to that ogre again the reason why i'm using all my ammo here is because i know in the next room we're going to be able to hit finishers there's literally five what one two four champions in the next room sorry six champions four unstops and two overloads so there's really no point for me to not have to worry about ammo i shouldn't be saving it i should be using it and keeping my teammates alive or making sure i don't die again mistakes happens you guys have to understand that this this nightfall takes time but once you learn it you can technically farm this nightfall it's not that bad when you run when you run with three people that know how to farm it if you want to farm the weapon this week go for it if you want to farm exotics you can do it baking the boss in the end is definitely uh difficult once we get to the boss fight i'll kind of show you what happened to us we did not kill her right away we actually had to go into the realm and kill her because she likes to move a lot now for some reason we're working on strats to make sure that she gets insta killed still and we have some ideas and we're going to test it out on reset so by the time you watch this video you'll see me going live at reset and you can come out and chat since we killed the ogre we're going to move on to the next room again here it's all about finishers here because you're probably out of heavy i'm going to go back and get that res clear out those champs and move on to the boss room again i really didn't have to show that room because it was just killing six champions and moving on right here you need to understand that the boss is on the right hand side and she is not broken yet we've done some testing to see what bumps her to the left side without doing any damage we thought it was being timed so right here we wanted to make sure that we went quick we had our hunter tether using wither horde to trap everything throwing my nade to knock the solar shields we were literally clearing these ads as fast as we possibly could we were going to break the boss right away i'm gonna go get the orb throw it at her and when she spawns ads i am going to throw my hammers at all the ads and take care of them so we figured oh we're fine right we should be able to shoot her in the face and send her home pack and get an insta kill nope bungie had other plans so if you mess up right here it's fine you just have to understand that don't panic you do have a spot behind you which i will be showing you in a second just make sure that your team is comfortable with how the boss moves here a lot of people get to this point and they just start moving they start jumping around they start panicking make sure they're shooting their guns you don't have to play aggressive right here the only reason we are playing aggressive right here is because we wanted to go for the kill and we wanted to take out the ads fast as we could as you see i didn't even shoot her with anything i didn't shoot her with nothing not a single hammer and she just went to the left side we were bummed we're like man we really wanted to insta kill her because we're trying to test out storm chaser but the game didn't let us so we just got to roll anyway so we're going to go for the shot here we're going to pop our well we're going to try and throw that weakening nade at her and stack the debuff of the nade of the weakening and throw the, the nade of the well in the well sorry as you see we got booped put her to half you gotta adapt here you have to understand what do you do well she's gonna spawn more ads and she's not gonna leave yet so right here we made the choice of hey we messed up oh well and again this is why i like showing some of these mess ups in the guide to show you sometimes you just gotta take the l so what we're doing is, is we're coming back here and we're taking our time this is what you should do if you mess up like just tell your team hey remember we have plan b most of the time the team calls for a you know a plan b to come back here someone already died or someone else did and then one person's back here you can't do that you need to make a team decision to make sure all three people make it back here if only two make it i mean look at those ads i'm shooting i'm not going to be able to go get a res i'm close to hammers to go get it but what's going to happen if i make a play and go for someone's res boss bumps me off we're going to orbit so you don't want stuff like that to happen 
Literally, the only way to learn this boss fight is to consistently do it over and over. And the reason why I keep reminding this is more people are doing GMs this season. I think more people are, are participating in GMs this season. I recommend using Solar with, with Classy Restoration. At the end of the video, I'm going to go through my build and kind of show you what I was using. But it's pretty my basic Titan Bonk build with all the mods still. A lot of healing. I actually put on... Uh, I actually think I put on Well of Life on my boots because we weren't using High Energy Fire anymore. Because High Energy Fire doesn't stack with Radiance. So I did put Well of Life on my boots to get a healing in more. But Classy Restoration, um, Revitalizing Blast for Stunning Champs. It's pretty much the basic Resist mod Titan build. But again, I go over it quickly in the end. I think Stasis Warlock works really well too, but you have to understand... That Warlock needs to know how to play GMs because they don't have Classy Restoration. Make sure you're running a 10 Resilience on all characters and, you know, take your time. Again, here, we are penalized here for not having Solar on, so I have to break the Solar Shields with my Hammer or my Nades. You could have someone switch off a Void Scout and run something Solar if you really want to, but up until this point, we really didn't need it, but we also didn't expect for this to happen. I think Bungie Stealth nerfed this boss. I think they made a change to where she does teleport out of nowhere now because some runs she didn't teleport and we almost one shot her and some runs she just teleports to the left side with no issue. So as soon as you clear the ads and you're gonna throw the ball at her again, you are gonna break the shield. She's gonna take some damage and you will jump through the realm. I know some other people probably give you a strat of getting the ball, going invis and taking the ball through the portal and breaking her and killing her. I feel like that is definitely a strat used for a veteran team. The reason why is, let's just say I'm leading the team and I go invis to go get the ball and something happens. I'm saying the littlest thing happens. I jump on a pebble and it kills me. My team just lost me until the boss. I don't want to risk that. I would rather just stay with my team and fight out. And that's why I wanted to show you in this run on how we can take her and go toe-to-toe -to -toe with her till the end. You don't have to sit here and fight these ads. Just stand here and jump through. Once you make your way up the hill, make sure you kill the knights first. Because anytime you kill the knight, it pushes the boss up. Right here, good old RNG. Clyde was nowhere near the boss. Gets bumped off. I even baited the slide for her to push me off and ran past it. But I did get bumped. I feel like the game was a little unfair there. But hey, it happens. Clearing the ads here, obviously you just have someone go get the ball and you're going to use your Wither Horde and add clear here. I always recommend all three players push up here. That way the boss has multiple targets to look at. I like to come over here to the right and have these pillars that I can use just like that to bait the boss. As you see, I did it correctly there. I stand behind the pillar, bait the boss's attack. So she bumps me and not my teammates. Simply here, we're going to chuck the ball and go for the kill like you always should. I did want to put this in the video just to show you how much health she had left. She half health here, and we went for it anyway. You just need to understand to shoot her, tell your team to shoot, no ads will spawn, and you will get the kill. Sometimes she could orb the shield up again, and you'll have to go pick up an orb where Merc is standing now. That is the no-no danger zone. That's when stuff could go wrong. Again, I'm going to show you my build here, what I was using real quick, and I hope this guide helped you. And obviously, we're going to come up with more big strats to help you guys out throughout the weekend farming. And don't forget the sub! Thanks for watching. See you guys next time.